What's going on, Colts fans? Welcome back to the Bring the Juice podcast. Today, we have some more free agency updates for you guys. Today, we're basically going to discuss Joe Haig and LaRaven Clark. So today, everybody has seen Joe Haig is no longer with the Colts. He is officially signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and is being offered a one-year $2.3 million deal with an incentive that could push that to over another million. And we also re-signed LaRaven Clark due to this news of Joe Haig, and the details of that have not officially come out yet, but uh, it should be coming out here soon. So, obviously, like we mentioned, another key piece uh, in the Colts that was not able to be brought back in Joe Haig, a versatile offensive line weapon that is basically a guy, a, he's the Swiss Army knife is what we like to have called him on this channel. Uh, he can play just about every position on the offensive line. Not many guys in the NFL that can do that. So it really does stink to see Joe Haig go. And some were saying in the Colts media or on Twitter saying that Oh, well, why didn't the Colts just give him $3 million? There's no way he would have uh, left for that. Well, I, I, I have to be honest, folks, and I know that most people agree with me on this when they hear it. It's it's not a not a thing where you know it had much to do with money this offseason. I think Joe Haig knew that he just wanted to be a starter, and he knew he couldn't be a starter on this offensive line right now but he knew he was good enough to start somewhere. And maybe when he starts next year and he gets that one-year deal with Tampa Bay and it's going good for him, opens the door for him to make some better money next year. Uh, and that's certainly what we would want as fans of Hague's. You know, it was never really about the money. The Colts could have easily thrown six to seven, eight million dollars at him. And he would have accepted. I think Chris Ballard probably did that. I think he probably did tell Joe Haig, hey, man, I do want to keep you around. I want to give you a couple million to keep you around. But, I mean, Haig just thought of what was best for his professional career and said, you know, I don't, I don't mean to leave Indianapolis, but I do want to go somewhere where I have the option to start and contribute for a team right away. And that's ultimately what I think this was. Uh and, you know, we, we all wish the best for uh, – we all wish the best for Joe Haig. Uh, the great guy has served the Colts really well. Uh, never really given the best of chances, but he's, you know, in a better place now. And we certainly do appreciate everything he's done for Indianapolis. And obviously with that news, we signed LaRaven Clark to an extension. Obviously with the minimal amount of offensive line depth that we have – it was already minimal as was, and now it's just gotten even worse. And LaRaven Clark is certainly not the guy that we wanted to bring back versus Joe Haig, but you know you have to make the best decision of what you can right now until you see what you can get later. Uh, Cody actually brought up a good point of whether or not uh, you should move LaRaven to guard, uh, move him into Glowinski's spot maybe, because, you know, you saw what Eric Flowers went from a tackle to a guard, and it practically saved Eric Flowers' career uh, because he was just god-awful as a tackle. Maybe LaRaven Clark needs that. Uh, LaRaven Clark is certainly a big body. Uh, maybe it would be best suited for him to be a guard on the right side, help Braden Smith out in the middle, and maybe that is something that the Colts think about. You know, it could be something, um, but, you know, obviously – Chris Ballard needed to make a decision. They needed offensive linemen for however much they get him for, for whatever reason, they certainly needed to keep him around. So thank you guys again. That was your quick update on the Joe Haig release and the re-signing of LaRaven Clark. This is Derek Larger. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, thank you again, everyone, for the support. Uh, keep watching our videos. We appreciate all of you who are subscribing and all of you who are being uh, engaging to us on Twitter and in the uh, comments. Really appreciate all of you, and go Colts!